Hey guys, it's Gabriel from Ice Fishing Lifestyle. Um, today we're just fishing off the coast of Sydney once again. Um, we actually haven't started fishing um, as it's slightly rougher than we expected. So we're trying to um, find a location which is safe to fish at the moment. The swell is at around 1.6 meters from the northeast. Um, at the moment, the north at, at the moment um, the wind is coming from the north. Um, at around eight knots. Um, however, in around three hours time, um, the winds can pick up to around 20 knots from the south which is going to be a cold breeze, so we're going to try fish the three hours before the wind um, decides to kick in from the south. Hey guys, as you can see, um, the weather's not the best at the moment. Um, the swell's slightly higher than we would like it to be. It's sunrise, but we still haven't, uh, we still haven't managed to fish. Um, that's actually our mate um, tour at the moment, who's spinning for Kingy's uh, Bonito or any salmon that's around. Um, he's been here since around 20 minutes ago, but we haven't um, gone down yet, as we're still trying to... Um, Still trying to decide which platform to fish off. It's the first lyric of the day. Okay. So how can I To see the latest fishing reports, gossip, discussion, news and specials, check out the largest ISA fishing forum in Australia, www.artsisafishing.com Hey guys, it's just a small black drama. Um, I'm just going to release it. It's probably around 25 to maybe 27 if lucky. Hey guys, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about people um, wanting to know how the ISAF float rig actually looks like. And so basically I've just, um, this is just my rig I'm using today. So just a brief rundown, um, that's the stopper bead, which is followed by the actual ISO floats. As you can see, I'm using a size 3B plus G2, followed by my rear cushion stopper. Um, the main line I'm using at the moment is 12 pound, so it's the number 3 in the Japanese lines. Followed by that, I've actually got my leader connected to it. Um, the leader has been connected with a figure of 8 knot. And on the main line, I've matched the buoyancy of the 3B float with a 3B split shot. I'm using 7 pound um, Torre EX fluorocarbon leader, which is a number 1.7. Uh, my trace goes for around 2.5 meters. As as the longer the leader, um, the more naturally the bait moves in the water. Followed by that, as you can see, I've got my tiny size, size, 
size 0.8 Followed by that, I've got my size 0.8 sesame hook in the type 2. 